You know, most of us take our freedom for granted. We assume that if we go to work every day, we don't run stop signs. We um, just manage our business in the way that we are accustomed to managing our business, that we are free from issues that have to do with the legal system. Well, that's not exactly true. You can be arrested for a number of reasons. Um, and unfortunately, many, many times, you are considered guilty until you are proven innocent. Worse than that, however, you can be convicted of a crime that you had nothing to do with. There are a number of cases. In fact, the National Registry of um, Exoneration has been able to, only since 2012, to document more than 3,000 cases of people who have been convicted for crimes they did not commit. And there are all kinds of reasons for those things. I mean, the issues that affect us in our daily lives that we're talking about all the time are those same issues that carry over into our judicial systems, issues of bias regarding race or, or income level, poverty, poor people, um, where you live, um, what your faith is, all of those things, prosecutorial misconduct, de defense lawyer ineptness, all of those things can cause you to be in jail for a crime that you did not commit. It can cause you to, in effect, give your life over to a system that is designed to protect you. There are lots of people though, and this is the good news, there are lots of people who are talking about this and talking about ways to fix it and like the Innocence Project or like our guests today or our guests on To The Point this week um, from Lord's University who are saying, look, pay attention to this. There are things that we can do about this. There are things that we must do about this. Please join me as we discuss the issue of wrongful convictions on To The Point.